Hey there, $100 MBA listener. Today is Free Ride Friday, so make sure you hang on to the end of the episode so you can hear who won this week's free ride to the $100 MBA training and community. Every week, we give away a free ride, a free lifetime membership to the $100 MBA training and community. That's over 180 video lessons, interviews with experts, our private Facebook group, our private forum, workbooks, a whole lot more. And it's our way to say thank you to everybody who's left us an iTunes rating and review. If you want to win a free ride, just leave us an iTunes rating or review by clicking on the cover art on your iPhone or go to 100mba.net slash show. Every Friday, we do a weekly random draw and we call out a winner. Next week, it could be you, so leave us a rating and review. Let's jump into today's episode. the business podcast that delivers short 10-minute business lessons from one of the tallest podcasters out there. Yes, I am 6'5". We're giving you daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And in today's episode, you will learn how to smash self-doubt in the face. Self-doubt is an absolute killer. How much you believe in yourself plays a huge factor in how successful you are as a business owner, as an entrepreneur. Self-belief is the best strategy I know. When you're full of self-doubt, you'll have a very hard time moving forward in your business. And in today's episode, I'm going to give you some proven strategy to help you smash self-doubt head on when you're faced with it. It's going to happen. We all have it. But how we deal with it differentiates our success from failure. Let's get into it, guys. Let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by Media Temple. Media Temple's grid service has been the web hosting choice of more designers, developers, and creative professionals than any other platform. That's because a single Grid account can host anything from your portfolio site to 100 different client projects. And the Grid is ready for anything. Hundreds of servers working together to make sure your site is always online. Even if you suddenly hit the front page of Reddit. And as a special discount for $100 MBA listeners, use promo code MBA25 for 25% off web hosting. Go to MediaTemple.net and enter promo code MBA25 when signing up. Again, that's mediatemple.net, code MBA25. Self-doubt will hold you back more than you can possibly imagine. It's the number one cause of failure for most entrepreneurs. They simply don't believe they could do it. You see, self-doubt leads to fear, and fear keeps us from taking any action. Fear keeps us from progress. Fear keeps us from success. Fear keeps us from happiness. Now, I know it's impossible to be 100% fearless or 100% without any self-doubt, Anyone who tells you otherwise is simply just lying. You'll never get rid of it completely, but you need to get rid of it enough for you to keep moving forward. It can't be a hindrance. Self-doubt will exist, but when self-doubt becomes so powerful, it stops you from doing what you got to do to be successful, that's a problem. That's when we have to keep it in check and bring it down to a level so you can keep moving forward. Not only that, but without self-confidence, you'll constantly struggle. This is why you have to really focus on this and take it seriously. You see, no one wants to spend money on someone who isn't confident. Your belief in your products and your services matter a lot. It shows in what you do. When you show you have great pride in your products and services and what you have to offer, people believe that your products and services will be worth their money. So you could say that when you remove self-doubt, confidence manifests. And you have to have confidence in what you do. Now, this doesn't mean to be cocky. It just means that you honestly believe you are the best option for people. And that's my first strategy, to have the mindset that what you offer is the best option for the people you're serving. That's a great way to show confidence because if you lack confidence, people will see it and they'll never become buyers. Because if you're not confident in what you do, how can you expect your prospects or customers to have confidence in you? So strategy number one is to have the mindset that you honestly believe that what you're offering is the best option for your audience. And that means you're taking pride in what you build in what you produce, the product you actually offer. So that's strategy number one. Strategy number two is fully understanding that the success of your business is greatly determined by your beliefs, but it actually doesn't happen. You don't actually do the work without believing that you can do it. So in other words, your beliefs is a prerequisite before the work gets done. 
it's like a ticket to admission. In order to start working, you got to start believing. Strategy number three, don't become intimidated by your competition. No matter what industry you're in, you're going to be in a competitive environment. It doesn't matter if you're selling cigars or airplanes or t-shirts. It doesn't matter. You're going to be in a competitive environment. And it's easy to allow yourself to become intimidated by what's around you. So from the get-go, understand you have competition. They exist, but don't worry about it. You do your thing, and you're going to get yours, and they're going to get theirs. Don't worry about larger competitors. Believe in yourself. Trust in your abilities. You need to have this mindset that people will be foolish if they didn't buy your products or service. Now, obviously, you don't want to come out and say that, but you should be thinking it. If you're not the best at what you do, or at least you're working your butt off to become the best, then what's the point? And at the end of the day, you really have no real competition. If you're being yourself, if you're offering an authentic, unique perspective to your market by being yourself, no one can emulate who you are and what you offer. So remember strategy number three, don't be intimidated by competition. Competition is always going to be there. Just focus on doing your thing and being the best at what you offer. Guys, I got more on today's lesson, but before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, FreshBooks. Time is one of the most valuable commodities when running your own business. It's the reason each episode of The 100 MBA Show is so short. We know time is of the essence. Entrepreneurs always have a ton of stuff on their plate. They're always on the go, and we get that. And FreshBooks, our friends and sponsor of today's episode, couldn't agree more. In fact, saving time is one of the main reasons small business owners love them so much. If the thought of finding time for formatting and sending invoices, tracking your tasks, and managing expenses makes you cringe, then you need some FreshBooks in your life. With FreshBooks, small business owners spend way less time on paperwork and end up getting paid an average of five days faster. Did you hear that? Five days faster. Plus, it's super intuitive and easy to use. You'll be creating and sending invoices in minutes, watching expenses practically organize themselves and probably wondering why you didn't start sooner. And now you could try FreshBooks for free for 30 days and you'll find out why 97% of customers highly recommend FreshBooks. Just go to freshbooks.com slash MBA and enter the $100 MBA show in the how did you hear about us section while signing up. Let them know that you heard it from here on the $100 MBA show. Again, try FreshBooks for free for 30 days at freshbooks.com slash MBA. All right, guys, my final strategy when it comes to smashing self-doubt in the face is reminding yourself you're capable of great things. Look at your life. You've done so many things that you didn't think you could do before. I mean, at one point, all of us, we couldn't walk. We were crawling on the floor like babies, right? Because we were babies. But we learned how to walk after falling on our face a whole bunch of times. And we did it. We're walking. Now, obviously, that's a simple example. But you've done things in your life that you've accomplished that are significant. You've gone through 12 years of schooling. You might have done some college and university. You've done so many things where at the start, you're like, I don't even know how this is going to happen. Am I going to be able to make it? Am I going to do this? Am I going to graduate? Am I going to finish this course? Am I going to build this business? All these things, the results were unclear. But you accomplished them. You did them. You are capable of doing great things. And greatness is not exclusive to people that are geniuses or have extremely amazing abilities. Trust me, I've been in business for a long time. I've seen some people that are not that bright become very successful in business. You are capable of doing it. Just remind yourself that you've done things in the past that you didn't think were possible and you've done them. That item is checked off the list. This business, this venture you're in, is just the next thing on the list. You can do it. And my bonus insight is the best way to keep self-doubt at bay is to keep busy with your work. Just focus on working on what you need to do, whether that's publishing blog posts, your videos, if you're creating your products, if you're selling your products, if you're working on your website, whatever it is, stay busy in growing your business. Self-doubt creeps up when you're dilly-dallying, when you're not doing what you need to do. Stay busy, stay focused, stay confident. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, remember, everything that I convey to you on these lessons, it's all out of love, out of care that I want to see you succeed. Sometimes I get passionate. Sometimes I say things straight from the heart without a filter. And I think that you appreciate that because you're getting the honest truth. And I want to let you know that you're not alone. You have us. This show could be like your personal coach. It could be somebody that's with you every single day. If you have questions, email us questions. We answer them on the show every weekend. Email us at contact at 100mba.net. Check out the resources we have. We have plenty of resources on the $100 MBA. We have guides and free courses. And we have a whole bunch of stuff you can check out for free. We're here to see you succeed. We want you to succeed because your success is our success. If you succeed, it means that what we're doing every single day with this podcast has meaning. So I just want to take a moment to just convey that to you. 
All right, guys, I hope to catch you in tomorrow's episode, which is Q&A weekends where we answer your questions on the show. But before that, I want to leave you with this. I've had a lot of challenges in my life, meaning, you know, I went to school. I played sports at a very high level. You know, I got my master's degree. I've worked in education for over a decade. I was in middle management. 